Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel in another new video on survival multiplayer with Dagoin. Uh, Dagoin's just started over there with the mower. He's mowing the grass field that we've got here. This will be for silage, I should think. Because that's the most profitable thing to do with grass at the moment, other than obviously for the sheep, but they've got enough bales for now, so we don't need to bother with them for now. So we will make silage. I'll just get the rake on. We could really do with a slightly bigger rake, but not not a massive priority at the moment. We also really need a new baler. Dagwin wants to get a new baler, I think, today, so he may or may not do that. Um, possibly he will, because I think he's fed up with the small bales. <laughs> but um, I'll start raking this anyway, getting it ready to bale. Follow Dagwin round. He's going to get done a lot quicker than me, though, because this rake is very narrow. So it's going to be a pretty big job, this, with this rake, but... I did just check the sail to see if there was a used one, but there isn't a used rake at the moment. So uh, we did miss one, I think. I, I, somehow I didn't see it. Everybody pointed it out that it was in the sail a few episodes back. But unfortunately I missed that somehow. Um, so we didn't buy it. Uh, so we're stuck with this one for now. I don't really think it's worth buying a, a brand new rake at this stage just for one field. We've only got one grass field, so it's, it seems a bit of a unnecessary expense at the moment. We've just, we're still at this stage where we've got to be careful what we spend the money on. Don't want to waste it on things that we don't really need. So, uh, yeah, I'll continue with this rake for now. The mower is certainly big enough though, it gets the job done very quickly. I think Dagwin will be done with the mowing in just a few minutes. <laughs> he's already done the headlands and he's just, he's, we're still going around, but it's, it's not going to take him long to get that middle part done either. So, yeah, he'll be, he'll be soon on to uh, bailing. If I've even got enough. <laughs> Um, rakes out, ready to bail at that point. I'm sure I will have something to do. Uh, so anyway, I'll get on with this on time lapse. Get all this field raked up. I'll start going around the other way actually now to give one swath around around the edge. So I'll pull back in here and go the other way around. Then you can start bailing the headlands when you're done with the middle part of the mowing. So I'll speak to you again in a bit. done here with the raking now. Just got a couple more passes to do and then we'll be done. And as I suspected Dagwin soon caught up with me <laughs> with the baler, he's almost finished. So he reckoned we needed a, a bigger baler but I don't really think we do because, well at least not for this field because uh, he's certainly keeping up with me on the rake. I think, I think the rake's more of a priority to upgrade really but he hasn't gone for a new one anyway so it's fine. As I've been saying for several episodes, I'd rather invest the money in a combine. <laughs> That's something we do need. But, yeah, we're looking about... That's done actually, I don't need to do that again. Looking about 110,000, I think, for a combine. 
Oh, I know a few have been annoyed about this uh, this mud here. I don't think we can. Uh, oh, that's what's in the sail. I don't think we can drill it because the drills are all the other side. I don't want to mess about bringing a drill across just to do that. But what I can do to try and keep everyone happy is put some grass in. Just to uh, make it look a bit neater. <laughs> it's not ideal, but at least it's not just mud. Right, so this can go back in the shed and we'll start wrapping the bales for silage. I'll take the trailer into the field and this, actually Dagon might do that. I'll just drop this off here. I'll drop the pallet fork off and then pick the wrapper up. I know we've done this before, but at the moment, because we're waiting for all the other fields to be ready to harvest, it's the only job we've really got to do. up. Ah, Dagwin spotted the forklift in the sail. Well that, yeah that, that forklift could be handy for moving the pallets about. We've got quite a few pallets to move now. We've got the uh, lettuce, we've got the wool and we're also going to have the furniture which will be heavy. So maybe that's a good investment. 21,000 for that. So you can do. But of course, that's going to eat away at our combine fund. <laughs> so, yeah, a bit of a tough one still. I'm not quite sure whether it's a good investment or not. 21,000 is not an awful lot of money, but when you've only got 41, 42 just on loan total, it's not. It's now got 20,000. Hmm. Which is quite a big investment for the amount of money we've got. So I'll pack this trailer in the field and start loading it with silage bales. Put it right back in the middle and it's not too fast to run with all the bales. Start loading and wrapping these. Which is going to take a bit of time. It's always quite a time consuming job doing silage bales. I was going to bring the bales to me, that's helpful. If you can drop it. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, this is quite a fiddly job loading the trailer with this wrapper. They never look too good. You never get them looking neat anyway. But as long as they're on the trailer, not falling off, that's the important thing. It doesn't really matter which way you pick these up, which way around the bales face, because they always also corrects it and puts it on for you. It's quite a good little wrap of this really, it's not quick but for what we have at the moment it's, it's fine really. It gets the job done. It's quite a cheap wrapper. Because obviously yeah, the, because the bells are so small there's quite a few to wrap. So it's going to take a bit of time, but we've not got too many jobs to do anyway, really, at the moment. So today, because the fields aren't ready to harvest. Once we get these fields ready to harvest, there'll be loads to do. They're going to be flat out, but at the moment, it's just a case of doing what we can to keep some money coming in. Unfortunately, the price of silage is going to be dropping now, because we're in April, and by the time these are ready, it's going to be either May or most likely June. And the price of silage in June is about as bad as it gets, I think. <laughs> It's about the lowest price month, so not ideal that at all. But we don't really want to be keeping them until December because it's a long time to wait to get the money back. And we've got to keep them somewhere. So I think we're just going to take the hit on them really and hope we get a reasonable amount. But obviously not as much as we would in the winter. Anyway, I think I'll continue doing this on time lapse. I'll speak to you when I'm done.
the side of this loaded up. Dagger is going to take it. You probably could have got it all in one trailer, but he wants to take it and empty it anyway. Um, I suppose at least we haven't lost any en route, but it would have all gone on one trailer if it had been stacked neatly. But as I said at the start, it's, it's impossible to stack properly with that um, wrapper. You've got to stack it with a proper bale fork, pallet fork, um, to get a neat job. Anyway, they've all gone down to the sell point, which they'll be sold obviously when they're ready. Which won't be when they're at the best price, unfortunately, but it, at least they'll be sold as silos and not brass as they are at the moment. Um, so, as you saw, he's, I think he's, uh, Dagwin's got the new fortress up here. I'll go and have a look at that now. Here we are, new Manitou forklift, which can be used for loading all the pallets. We've got, like I said, all these lattice pallets to load, which is just pushed out the saw points. We've also got the wool over here by the sheep. Well, there's still that stump there which needs doing. <laughs> Keep forgetting to do that. Uh, yes, we've got these wool pallets as well. They can be sold. We haven't got a spinner or anything yet, we can't afford that, so we'll have to just sell the wool as it is. I think Dagger might have already sold some of the wool in a previous episode, actually. Uh, so wool price, 2100 Actually, at its best now, so that needs to be sold. We need to get that loaded up. And then the lettuce. It's on its way down. 1,700 at the moment. It's not too bad. It's only going to get worse, so we might as well get that sold today as well. I think that would be a good idea. So yeah, we'll, we'll do that. We'll get these pallets loaded onto the trailer. Dagwin's going to bring the trailer back once he's finished tipping the size bells, so we'll get them onto the same trailer. Sure, I'll kind of park over here, so I'll just wait until he comes back, and then we can resume. Okay, here's Dagoin. Hopefully, he's going to get here without going in the river. That was a bit close by the looks of it, but yeah, he's made it. So we can start loading these pallets now. He could probably help load with his front loader actually, because we've got a forklift for that as well. He wants to. Or he might just sit there and watch me do it, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, this, this fortlift is certainly going to be easier to load with. They're quite precise, these uh, little fortlifts. Play with the uh, tractor front loaders. But they are a bit slower, I suppose, as well. It's not quite a full pallet, this, but I'll get it on anyway. So we've got the wool on, it's not much, but we should get a reasonable amount for it, a little bit anyway. And now we can go on to the lettuce pallets, which are over here. Quite a few of these, I'll stack them to, in twos probably. So they don't take as much space on the trailer, although not really desperate for space, I don't think it's plenty big enough for that trailer for all of these, but silly, they're easier to to move if they're in twos, you have to do one trip to the trailer rather than two for the same amount. Anyway, I think I'll just time lots the rest of loading these pallets up, then we can get them sold. Dago in with the trailer that took no time at all to load because he did come and help in the end uh, with his front loader. He got them on in no time, so yeah, much quicker than the little forklift that we got. Probably not the wisest choice of um, things to buy at the moment, it's just because it was in the sale, 43% off it was, so it seemed like a good deal. It was a good deal, but not 100% necessary, I don't think, at this stage. Just to add a bit of interest, I suppose, a different way of loading. And it does, it is actually easier to get in down the side of the greenhouses with it rather than the big tractors and get down the gaps and stuff, but yeah, not, not less essential. 
I did notice the, the uh, greenhouses could do with a bit more water, so I'll do that. It's just selling the pallets now, so let's see what we'll get for them. Is that all of them? No, still more. Thirty two now. What we'll end up with. I'll just reload the water here. Is that everything? I think we'll probably finished selling. So thirty four thousand one hundred there in total now. I'm not sure what that was that we got. I forgot what we were on before. I think twenty thousand something, I think. Uh, so yeah, not bad, bad for that. And we've obviously got our uh, carpentry production going now over there, on the other side of the river. It's turning the logs, trees into um, furniture, which is worth quite a bit, I think, at the right time of year, so that'll be good. We can get that sold at some point. I don't think they'll be any ready to sell today, though. Probably take a few days. When I've done this water, I think the only job left to do will be some more tree cutting. That one's full. Some more in this one. There we go, they're both full now. So that'll keep them going for a bit more. Right, the sheep don't need any work. They've got all their bales that they need. So they're very low maintenance, they don't need anything doing really. As long as they've got their bales, they're happy. Um, so what job now then? I think trees is probably the only thing. Staggering got, oh, he's got a spreader. Do you got something to, oh, he probably spread this grass field with some fertilizer. That would, that would need doing. Not sure how that got there. Put that back over here. There we go. Okay, so um, yeah, logs probably few more logs to cut. So I'll put the log fork on. I think these ones up here are uh, ours, so we can cut those. Where's the log trailer? Just trying to do with some fuel as well. If the log trailer, I think it's over the other side of the river, so I'll probably go and fill it with some fuel and get the trailer and bring that back over. I see it, yeah, it's over by the carpentry. I'll go and refuel and repair this tracks first, and then we'll do some logging. Right, so we're fully uh, fueled up and repaired. That's the trailer picked up. Don't we just admiring our potato crop over here? Not sure if he's going to do any logging with me or not. I'll just go over the other side, we cut a few of those down. So yeah, the tracks is all, everything's fully repaired. And I did the front loader and the log fork as well, so it's all 100% repaired. I think mainly it was the log fork that needed repairing there, but I did everything. It wasn't expensive, really. Dagwin's finished his fertiliser spreading. So that's good. That field will be another high-yielding grass crop next time. I think the trailer can just stay there on the flat ground. And then we'll load some of these trees up. These are just the small ones that you can move by hand. This is on a, quite a bit of a slope, these trees. Anyway, I'll time up the rest of this logging and loading up the trailer. The
Okay, so here we are at the sauna with a full load, more or less a full load anyway. It's quite full. Um, so yeah, let's see what we get for these trees. Clear quite a decent size area there up by the other potato field, the first one we did. So I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with that area yet. Have to have a think about that. Certainly not for building on. It's far too steep, and it's not really ideal for crops either. So we could possibly plant some more trees there in the future if we need to. Although this map's not exactly short on trees. Or we well, come up with some other suggestions as well. Maybe a wind turbine or something if we ever, ever get that much money. Anyway, let's find out what we get for this load. There we go. 17.3 plus 1.6. That's not bad. Brings us to a total of 51.6. So that's pretty good. I'll just take this tractor and trailer back up to the carpentry where I got it from, and then we'll probably call it a day today. So, getting on for 6 pm in the game now, so it's getting quite late. So, I'll just get back up to the carpentry and we'll finish the video there. Okay, here we back, are back at the carpentry again. Just back the trailer back where we got it from. And that'll be it for today. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Obviously no fields to harvest again, but still lots of little jobs to do. I should make a decent amount of money from that. So I hope you've enjoyed that, and I'll see you again in the next one.